now things that we can't sell online they go into a retail store which are, this is why we're here today uh, if they can't if they've seen better days or damaged they end up getting recycled so every book that comes in goes to a good place and we try to get use of it and even recycled if it's not ever used or you know not not uh, purchased or, or wanted right? yeah we'll get recycled turned back into another book okay very good really really cool yeah okay so you kind of explained how you got started mm -hmm. and uh, you know where you're you're going at this point um, what a little is uh, what's a little confusing to me is the donation aspect of this now you have donation bins right um, yes. and so where are those located do you still have those around absolutely yeah we have over 40 locations that you can donate at uh, if you'd like to visit our website which is newlegacybooks.com mm -hmm. you'll see a list of the charities and the townships that we work with um, basically you'll, you'll see you can't miss them once you pull up to the location they're large green boxes that say donate books on them mm -hmm. um, so it's been going really well you know we've been in business for five years now um, and since that time, we've raised over seventy-three thousand dollars for wow. yeah nonprofits and townships and things and like that. And that's the key too that I want everybody to understand. You're raising, in some cases, money for nonprofit organizations. Absolutely. That the, so this is a fundraising effort. Certainly, it's profitable to you as yes. well. But by the same token, it's also profitable for the uh, when I you know it's kind of an oxymoron but it's profitable for the nonprofit organizations as Absol well absolutely what are some of the organizations that uh, are you're involved with sure yeah we work with um, employment horizons literacy volunteers of Morris County VFW and Randolph Habitat for Humanity in Washington um, police athletic lead in Parsippany Roxbury Fire Department Jefferson Rescue Squad Long Valley First Aid uh, Karen Ann Hospice and Newton and we actually just started working with the Great Meadows uh, Middle School we just placed to been there oh, this, two weeks ago that's great well I know there'll be folks that will donate there and so it's kind of a two-pronged effort because you're looking for books for folks to donate books and what we're talking about is not something that's so dog-eared you can't you know on pages missing and so forth we're talking about a gently used book that certainly could be recycled and and that's something that's you know underlined and written in and all those things I mean, I guess that'd be okay. We keep, yeah, the, the books that are a little bit more rough around the edges, if you will, mm -hmm. we sell those online because we, you know, we describe the book. Yeah. The right. books that are going into our store over mm -hmm. on Mountain Avenue, these books are brand new. We keep the quality up really high. We mm -hmm. go through each and every book. There's no highlighting. There's no bents. It, you can't tell, you put a brand new book in our book next to it, you can't tell the difference. We have great pricing. Uh, all the books start at five ninety nine. Uh, the more you buy, you can get them as low as two ninety nine. Wow, that's great! Yeah, you can't beat the deal, can't beat the pricing, can't beat the service. Uh, my wife Trish, who runs the store, uh, she's in charge of the overall aspect of it. Our manager Ryan, who's there day to day, um, he'll be there today. Uh, if you want to stop in, say yeah, hi, sure, pick up a book. Absolutely, that's great. We're talking to Matt Liacona, who is the owner of Legacy Books. Their new location since April at 198 Mountain Avenue in Hackettstown, and their website address is www.newlegacybooks.com, and they have locations literally around the area. You said 40 locations at least. We have right? over 40 locations that you see on our website to yeah. donate for the uh, the bins. The retail store, uh, which I hope everybody comes out, that's the one we're really trying to drive and mm -hmm. take this company to the next level and help the nonprofits that we work with. Uh, we're open five days a week there, uh, Tuesday to Saturday 10 to 6 Sunday is 10 to 5 now Matt I would assume you're not looking for folks to drop off things like old textbooks or encyclopedias or things like that you're looking mostly for novels and uh, things what exactly are you looking for uh, pretty much good rule of thumb is anything that has the barcode on the back of the book we can use mm -hmm. if okay. we can scan it we can tell if we should sell it online if we should put it in the store if it's outdated things like that oh, so yeah. if it has a barcode we can use it um, you can drop a you know a couple books off the store if you want to drop them off as you're coming in, but if you have a mass quantity of books, which a lot of people do, especially everybody moving around, things like that, um, if you can go to our website, you can see our locations. You can drive right there. The bins are open 24/7. You can get to them anytime. Okay, good. So you can bring as many books as you want, right, to the drop-off points. Absolutely. And uh, but again, you know, you're not looking for old textbooks, as you say, anything that has a barcode on it would be what you'd be looking for. Yes. Right. Okay, very good. And in the store itself, have you organized into categories? Like, for example, if I come in and I say, you know, I'd like a nonfiction or I'd like a biography mm -hmm. or something of that nature, is it organized? Absolutely, yeah. It's very organized in there. 
Uh, Ryan, our manager, he's very helpful. He's He knows that place in and out. You go mm -hmm. in there, ask him if we got a title. I'll try to find it. Can't find it. We'll find something in that general genre. Mm -hmm. yeah. Or we can take your name and number, and when that book comes in, we'll get it to you, no problem. So you can do a search, for example, for it and see if it's available and things like sure. that? Sure, yeah. He knows the store pretty yeah. well, so That's you can take a look around. Yep, absolutely. Very good. All right. Well, listen, I want to personally encourage folks to drop into new the new location for Legacy Books at 198 Mountain Avenue in Hackettstown. And uh, you can go online and find out more about this whole thing here and how it works. You know, when you're donating books, you're donating to a charitable organization. So the book that you have that you've enjoyed is going to be enjoyed by somebody else. And the nonprofit organizations are also going to benefit from this. Great idea, Matt. Did, was this your idea? Or was this? A... It was an idea that me and my buddy came up with years ago. Yeah. And we kind of messed around with it, and it yeah. really just took off. And, you know, it's been a great experience. I mean, since the five years we, we started out of the garage, my wife and I have grown the company to, you know, we have five employees now. We have a warehouse. We have a retail store. And we work with, again, over 40 different locations. So it's been really going well. We're just really trying to promote the, the retail aspect of the store. I think that's the future of our company and as well the future of raising funds for all of the nonprofits there and townships go. that we work with. Absolutely right. I'm so excited that you came in during this week because I'm here very infrequently and to get a chance to meet you and uh, to know where Legacy Books is, I'll be in. I'm telling you right now. I appreciate I, it. I am a reader. I love to read books and, uh, you know, I like to read books. Yes. You know? So there you go. <laughs> all right. Matt Liacona, my guest here. Best wishes. Thank May you. You have many, many years of success, and uh, it's a great idea. Really Appreciate good. it. Thanks Terrific. for having me. You're welcome. Thank you. All right. And uh, again, that's Legacy Books, 198 Mountain Avenue in Hackettstown. Drop in. Say hello to the folks there. Tell them you heard about it here on uh, RNJ. Right now it is 21, almost 22, past the hour of 9 o'clock. We'll be back in a moment. From Hackettstown Animal Hospital, here's Dr. Alex.